A senior U.S. official is acknowledging that the Iran nuclear talks will fail to hit Tuesday's deadline. The admission that the deadline was already slipping has cast a shadow over prospects for the talks. After 18 months of difficult negotiations, it was hoped this round would be the very last. CCTV's Richard Bestick has been there throughout this whole process. He joins us live in Vienna. Richard. Susan, speculation out of the uh, Palais Corberg Hotel here was uh, pretty rife uh, from early Sunday that the deadline was going to need to be extended if anything substantial were to be achieved. The tone set with a string of statements from lead players on all sides, uniformly stressing the problems in the path to agreement. Take a look at how the day panned out. Are you confident you might be able to get a deal? The interminably turning doors of the Iran nuclear talks have now a routine feel to them. A different city this time, perhaps, but difficulties only too familiar to those around the negotiating table. Uh, there's some very tough issues, and I think we all look forward to getting down to the final uh, effort here to see whether or not a deal is possible. I think the uh, I think uh, everybody would like to see an agreement, uh, but uh, we have to work through some difficult issues. Well, I agree. I, we, maybe not on the issues, but on the fact that we need to work really hard in order to be able to uh, make progress and uh, move forward. Uh, we're determined to uh, do everything we can. The barriers to agreement in part take us back to talks just a few months ago in Lausanne, Switzerland. The timing of the removal of sanctions, the level of intrusion from teams of inspectors checking Iran's nuclear program really is for peaceful purposes. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah al Khamenei, is demanding an immediate lifting of sanctions on agreement of a deal and refusing demands for inspections of Iranian military sites. Red lines that currently block agreement, according to Britain's Foreign Secretary, Philip Hammond. No deal is better than a bad deal. There are red lines that we cannot cross, and some very difficult decisions, tough choices are going to have to be made by all of us uh, if we're going to get to this deal over the next few days. All parties here then under intense pressure. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry being pressed to come up with an agreement at least before July 9th and the return of a sceptical U.S. Congress. Susan, if confirmation had been needed that dates were slipping, Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif announced he was returning overnight for consultations back home in Tehran. And although his trip had been planned, that it uh, comes so close to the talks deadline is seen here suggesting that not all is entirely going according to plan. That's right, Richard. It certainly casts a huge shadow of doubt just because we had all been waiting and hoping uh, with, with great hope that June 30th would be the day there would be a deal. It is going to be difficult to maintain the uh, diplomatic momentum if the differences prove fundamental. Uh, there is some scope for extending the talks, though. Uh, that July 9th date that I was talking about there looks possible when the US Congress returns. But the longer it goes on, Susan, the harder success becomes. Failure, of course, would further heighten the Middle East's already lethal tensions and raise the grim spectre of a military alternative. Richard Bestick, thank you for your reporting live in Vienna.